All right. <coughs> okay. So today, Trump is running for president. Would he be an effective president? That is a question. But I believe that T Trump would be an effective president because of a bunch of reasons. Four of them would be that his business background has concluded him as a successful billionaire. There are the, the policies that he wants to include in his presidency will, will put this country into place. The other, he is possibly the candidate with the most potential out of any, uh, anybody from the Republican Party, Democratic Party, or the mixed party. And he is also, <coughs> and he is also his personal figure would contribute him as an interesting candidate for any, <coughs> anything that he would, he would be in, into. First of all, he turned a small, he turned a loan of a million dollars into a $4.5 billion company he, he had, right now that is what his net worth is today. And that is it through real estate. That, that is through real estate. That is through stock. That is through, that is through all his merchandise, including board games. Um, board games, his university, his, even a state company that he made, which is still up today. There is, he made 36, <clears throat> he donated $36 million to charity last year alone. And that is not including any of the shows he was in or any of the things, that's just money he donated it into his own his own benefit. He Forbes Forbes website named him the 72nd most powerful man in the world, and that's and that's higher than any of the other candidates running during this election. He and this is not just talking about money. He's talking about power, land, anything that would qualify him as a successful individual. His policies. He wants to make veterans get have homes, food. He donated. Last year, he donated $6 million in a matter of three months. He wants the veterans to have food, homes, because he stated he wants our greatest heroes to have, have the respect that they deserve, that they fought for. He wants the government not to make money off schools, which he thinks that's the only thing that should be made off of, that he, that's the only thing that he thinks should not make money off of the government. He stated this in his book, The Crippled Debt by Donald J. Trump. He, he wants to cut Social Security, health care. He wants people to have an affordable health care plan. He wants there to be something like that, what Obama was trying to do. But he wants to make the policy where he wants to make, he wants to make a health care plan that is affordable so people don't have to live on the streets and become homeless and lose their jobs because they don't want to pay for health care. And he is and during the Democratic debate of July 17, 2016, Bernie Sanders set, stated that he wants to make, he wants to start a political revolution. And aside from sounding a little out there, you know what I'm saying? He wants, he's, later in the speech, he said that he wants the money to pay for our schools, which is, is, a, is a double negative. That's like saying you want to be, you don't want to be next to this guy, but he's your best friend. It's like, no, it doesn't make sense. Hillary Clinton said that she, in that same event, the same election, in the same, in the same, the same speech, that she was pro guns, and later, half an hour later, said she was anti gun, which is which is which is also a double negative. In in the most recent Republican debate, Tr Trump was uh, debating alongside all of the Republicans. Ted Bush stated that he wants to abolish health care and have nothing where n no one has health care, whether they pay for it or not. And Ben Carson, off the, off, off, the, off, <clears throat> off the speech, stated that Obamacare is the worst thing, in, worst thing to happen to America since slavery. And, <clears throat> and, 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 sorry. And Leigh Ber Bernahan, an editor at large for the magazine and former uh, for Inc. magazine and a former editor for Harvard Business Review and founding editor of Webmaster Magazine, states that before two months of, be prior, he wanted he wanted that badly. He wanted he wa he wanted healthcare. He just didn't know how. Now that he knows it's impossible for him, he doesn't want that. The same person, Leigh Leigh Bucknan, states that. States, sorry, that that Trump would, has seven has six characteristics as the same as Pope Francis. 
First of all, he is authentic. He is a deal maker. He is a populist. He is a maverick. He is charismatic and he is fearless. And this is this is what brings Trump up today. That he is a, he's trying to stay relevant with the times. He is on television. He he has his own TV show since 2001, The, the Apprentice. He do, he donated $700,000 a year in a thir in a 13 season run which made it out to donate $10.4 million to charities that weren't even his own. He donated to other people's charities that people raised. And what makes him debate, what makes him a relevant president? Throughout this entire controversy, throughout this entire debate, everything, he still is winning. Oklahoma, he has plus 13 points. Massachusetts, he has plus 31 points. Alabama, he has plus 23 points. Georgia, plus 19 points. And this is why, why? Because people believe that this man can actually be president. And that is why Donald Trump would be an effective president for the United States. All right, Ozzy, your proposition is clearly identified. You lay out the secondary points. They are phrased mostly as topic areas, so you need declarative sentences. I think I mentioned that to somebody a couple of speeches ago. Uh, I think it would be a little bit more helpful that if you did that. And, um, you know, there, there's, a top, there's plenty of controversy on this. If this is the election cycle that's going on, so your claim, I think, uh, it fits into the idea that there's uh, a dispute that's going on here. I, I don't see a problem with that at all. Now, the organization of the speech, even though you previewed it at the beginning, I'm not sure that you do a good job signposting in the body of the speech. And in fact, uh, after the opening section where you're talking about his business acumen, I didn't really hear uh, reference to those distinctive claims. Um, I did hear you talk about the policies. Uh, I didn't really hear anything that was distinctive about his potential, uh, and I think the issues about his colorful personality will probably fit everywhere in this speech, not necessarily in the particular category that you previewed. Mm -hmm. So I think that that's you know, a little bit problematic. Organizationally, it breaks down a little bit during the presentation. Um, you've got some good information about uh, Trump's accomplishments. I do think you want to give us some source citations on it. I did like the Forbes uh, information about how ranking him as you know 77th most powerful man in the world, and he's not even a political figure, and he's ahead of anybody else. You know, none of the other people mentioned are even on the list. I, you know, that are they're talking about people for president. I think that that's an interesting point. Um, the ability to make money, though, I'm not exactly sure. You need to show why the ability to make money and run a company successfully is important to the ability to be the chief executive of the United States. And I think that that's, you know, you mentioned at one point there's a question about profit and what government's relationship and profit should be. And I'm not exactly sure how those two things connect. If you can show that he's efficient, if you can show that uh, he makes the tough calls, if you can show that uh, he's able to turn things around from the way they were before, I think that's the kind of stuff that would work well in your favor. And you need, I think, more specific details on this. You got a long list of stuff that he wants. You know what? If we, if we elected people who want stuff, 
all of us could be president because we, you know, I want I want there to be peace on earth. I want everybody to go to bed, you know, not hungry. I want everybody to be educated. I want everybody to have a house. Just because I want something doesn't necessarily mean that I have any idea about how to accomplish those things. Yeah. And I think that's the that's the question that a lot of people have about Trump. So how is he going to be able to do these things? What programs has he proposed? Or what ideas does he have for accomplishing that? He sometimes tries to get by a little bit on. Believe me, when I'm president, that's the way things will be. Well. How? You know, it's, you can't wave a wand and suddenly say, <laughs> veterans have homes, veterans get food, you know, veterans are cared for. We, we spend a lot of money on veterans already. What he has to do is say, we need to change this, we need to change this, here's how it would work better. Give us an explanation. I, and I think there may be that kind of explanation out there, but I don't get it in your speech. And so I think you need to do a better job explaining that. You had this whole section where you started talking about what Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton were talking about. I have no idea how that fits into your argument. It, it, it just felt like you were off on a tangent there, and so it, it's not really tying into Trump. I guess it's got something to do with how politicians are typical in that they you know, maybe are hypocritical or they contradict themselves or something like that. So why does that make Trump better, I, I'm not sure. If, if he's less hypocritical or he's just like them and he does the same thing so it's not a big deal that he's that way, I don't know how I was supposed to take all that information. That was not very clear to me. Um, I thought that uh, you, you need to get a couple of things more accurate. Uh, you, it sounded like you had some quotes that you were presenting. Uh, what was the guy's name? Bucknell, I think. They sound like paraphrases to me instead of direct quotes. I know one thing is uh, true. Uh, it's uh, Jeb Bush or Ted Cruz, and I don't know which one you were talking about because you referred to Ted Bush. And so I don't know which one is the one who wants there to be no health care and doesn't give a flame and poop about it. Uh, you need to, and, and you need to make sure that you get that quote accurate because that sounds like that came from that uh, person that you were quoting before. And again, it sounds like a paraphrase as opposed to a direct quote. You're much better off using direct quotes on those things. I thought you uh, get, you, you do a good job uh, speaking. You're very passionate in the way you express yourself and enthusiastic. And I think that will carry a lot of things. But it's you, you got to build the argument, too, to go along with that. All right. Thank you.